hello my dear people thank you so much for coming to my channel once again so today i want us to talk about whether you should wake up your baby in the night to breastfeed or even during the day when the baby is sleeping should you wake your baby up to breastfeed tell me right now in the comment section tell me which country you are watching from and whether you wake your baby up to breastfeed them and maybe tell me why okay all right so the reason I want us to answer this question is because I've got this question many times. And the answer I give is different according to the situation that the mother or the baby are in. So let's look at those situations. When your baby is a preterm baby, that is the baby is born before and baby has completed 37 weeks in the womb, or your baby was born of a low birth weight, or your baby is sick, or your baby is not growing well. These are the babies that you may need to wake up to breastfeed. So for the preterm babies, we want them to catch up with their growth. And a lot of them are so small that they are actually not even able to breastfeed until they are full before they stop breastfeeding, just because they are tired and breastfeeding is hard work for them. So mostly we advise that after they have fed, you squeeze some from the breast, that is you express the milk and add on to it for them. And these babies, because they get so tired, they may sleep for a long period. Sometimes they are growing so beautifully that your doctor may actually ask you not to do this. But generally, every three hours, you need to feed them. So these babies are the ones that you may need to wake up to breastfeed. Or a baby who was born very small, a baby of low birth weight, you may need to do the same thing for these babies as well. And then babies who are not growing well. If your baby is not growing well, we want to be make sure that it is not because the baby is not getting enough food. So the advice will be for you to feed on a schedule. So if this baby sleeps for a long period, we will ask that you wake this baby up to breastfeed them. And babies who are very sick in hospital, often we will feed them using a cup and spoon because they are so ill and they don't have the energy to breastfeed or we will pass a tube through the nose and a zoogastric tube or feed, and feed them or a tube into the, the intestine directly to feed them. And sometimes these babies are even fed continuously, 24 hours in a day. But when your baby is born at 10 and the birth weight is good, what should you do? Well, the recommendation is that if this baby has slept for more than four hours, you may wake up this baby to feed. It is may because when babies are born, we advise that you put them to breast within the first 30 minutes after delivery. So as soon as they are born, they are alert. You catch them and then you breastfeed them. But after that, a lot of babies are tired. So some of them may sleep for more than four hours and they will not wake up. Again, some of them, even if you are waking them up, they won't wake up. We advise that to wake them up, you do it gently. You can remove the blanket that is covering them. You can wrap their feet gently. You can wrap their back. You can just pick them up and hold them. Or if all these things don't work, you can squeeze a bit of breast milk and put on their lips. But there are some babies who will not wake up despite you doing this. So you don't need to go to all lengths to make sure that this baby wakes up by all means to breastfeed. And then again, you may have a newborn baby who has fed and then two hours later has fed, three hours later has fed. And if that baby for once in the 24 hour period is having a sleep that is more than four hours, you don't need to wake this baby up to breastfeed. Let them rest and then you can also get your rest as well. So a lot of 10 babies of good weight are able to regulate themselves. They know when to wake up to feed and then they know when to sleep. They let you know using what we call the hunger cues. What are the hunger cues? When a baby is hungry, they become alert. When the baby is hungry, they are a bit fidgety. They make sucking movements with their mouths. Sometimes they bring their hands to their mouths and they are sucking their hands. Or you will just see that they look a bit anxious. Then you know that that baby is probably hungry. So then you feed this baby. You do not need to wait for the baby to cry before you feed them. It's actually not advised. Don't let your baby cry before you feed them. Just watch out for these hunger cues. 
Crying is a very, very late hunger cue. It means that your baby has gone hungry for long. So you watch out for these hunger cues and you act on them by feeding your baby. That means that you are breastfeeding on demand. That means that your breastfeeding is responsive. But sometimes you will miss these hunger cues. And you are more likely to miss them if you are not doing what we call rooming in. Rooming in means that you stay in the same room with your baby so that you can see when they are doing these things and you can pick them up and feed them because they are exhibiting these hunger cues. So, for a 10 baby, good birth weight, you are rooming in, you don't need to wake them up every four hours to breastfeed. Indeed, if the baby has fed well, there will be at least one period during the day when this baby will sleep for more than four hours. So, if you are not to wake them up to breastfeed routinely and all that. How do you know that your baby is feeding well? Well, the best measure of whether your baby is feeding well or not is if your baby is growing well. That is why it's important to take your child for weighing or to the child welfare clinic and also to look at the curves in your child health record book. And we know that we don't weigh our babies every week. So until you go for weighing, how do you know that your baby is getting enough feed or your baby is going well so that you don't need to wake them up every four hours or every three hours to breastfeed? You know this if after five days of life, your baby passes at least five soft stools in a day. This will not last long because sometimes by the time the babies are two months old, if they are exclusively breastfeeding, you find that they may go even a whole day without passing in these two. So the initial days, after day three to five, your baby is passing about five soft stools a day. And then your baby is wetting about four to six nappies a day. Or your baby looks content after a feeding. Or as I said, at least once in a 24-hour period, your baby is able to sleep for at least four hours. So these are the things you can use to tell that your baby is feeding well. These days I'm giving, I'm saying about three days, about five days. They may vary in babies, but only worry if the deviation is very long. Let's say after a whole week of your baby being born, your baby is not able to wet about four nappies a day or up to even one week, your baby is passing only two stools or one stool a day, then that is a deviation from the normal. Remember, every baby is different. And like I said, the best way to judge is if your baby is growing well. So that is it. You don't necessarily need to wake your baby up to breastfeed every four hours or to feed your baby every four hours. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have questions or comments, just leave them in the comment section for me as well. And like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.